Welcome back inside TD Place Arena. Scoreless after 20 between the Hamilton Bulldogs and the Ottawa 67s here on First Choice Haircutters. 67s hockey on Rogers TV, 22 0 0 the score. I had the opportunity to catch up with 67s forward Zach Dorval after last night's win. Uh, interesting character out of Northern Ontario. Let's uh, take a look at that interview. Zach Dorval of the Ottawa 67s. Uh, Zach, thanks for joining us. And first off, just talk a bit about uh, how you've enjoyed your time in the barber polls this season as a member of the 67s. Uh, I really liked it. I mean, uh, I came in and the guys were, uh, were really good to me. Uh, we got a good, good group of guys here, a lot of young guys, and uh, it's been uh, it's been a tough patch since I've been here, but I mean, uh, the guys are staying positive and we're just battling through the tough times, and I'm sure uh, we'll do something good here. Now, uh, talking about it, you're a guy that came from Kingston. Uh, with the Frontenacs, and now you're here. You got four francophone guys in the room. Obviously, as a Hearst Ontario native, that's got to be nice for you. Eh? Yeah, I mean, uh, that was a positive when I got traded. I looked at the roster and I saw there was a bunch of French guys, so I was uh, pretty excited. That's something I didn't have in Kingston, and uh, obviously we got a uh, little bond. Us, uh, us Frenchies, kind of like uh, speaking French and teasing the guys. And then uh, talking about your transition as a guy that comes from Hearst, Ontario, small way up north. What was that transition like when you first moved down for hockey? I mean, I played single A up till uh, Bantam first year, I think, though. So, uh, I mean, it was kind of tough at the start because I had to move away from home when I was 14. Uh, so I've been doing this for a while, the, the moving away part. So, uh, I mean, I guess it was just a different different path than most guys that are uh, end up in the OHL. But uh, I'm fortunate to be here, and uh, I like it. And you talk about liking it. Uh, how, do, how do you find the city of Ottawa a little bit different than Kingston, obviously, in terms of size and language? Uh, what have you liked about Ottawa? I like it a lot. I live uh, out in Orleans, so uh, it's, again, I'm, I'm French, so it's nice. Uh, Ottawa's a nice uh, French town. Gatineau is not too far. Uh, my builds have been great. And like I said, like the guys here are really good and uh, just a great atmosphere. So uh, I'm really happy to be here. And then uh, talking about tonight's game, you guys just snap a seven-game losing streak. How big is this for the morale in the room? What was the room like after that win? This was good. I mean, uh, I don't think it was we played our best game, but we finally got the results. I mean, we've been playing hard the last uh, last little bit here and didn't get the results. And finally, uh, we managed to pull one out and get the two points. So uh, obviously, the guys are really happy. But now uh, we got to refocus and get ready for the next game. And then looking at uh, your season as a whole, as a defensive forward, you don't really judge your game based on the box score but uh, or the statistics, but how do you feel your season has gone here uh, with the 67s? I mean, uh, my season has been better. The, I think uh, coming here, they give, they've given me an opportunity to do exactly what I do, which is uh, play uh, defense and uh, shut guys down, get under guys' skin, and uh, they've given me the opportunity, so I've been taking it. And, uh, I mean, I think I have a good relationship with the coach, so everything, everything's been good. And then uh, we'll swing it now, finally, into some rapid-fire questions. Just your standard. Starting off, uh, who's your favorite musical artist? Oh, Zach Brown Band. Zach Brown Band, OK. And uh, what was the last song you listened to before tonight's game? Uh, God, Your Mama and Me, which Florida, Georgia line. Country, country. Yeah. <laughs> uh, favorite pregame meal, go-to pregame meal? Uh, I'd say chicken parm. Chicken parm, pretty standard, pretty standard. Uh, favorite youth hockey memory? Winning the All Ontario's. It was uh, the single A on uh, All Ontario's when I was in Hearst. It was a great experience, and uh, I really liked it with all my friends, and uh, it was good. And then uh, dream dest or dream vacation destination? Uh, I'd say Punta Cana, I guess. <laughs> original, original. <laughs> Somewhere hot. <laughs> There you go. We could all use it right now in mid-February. And uh, lastly, now you're in your 18 year. Where do you see your hockey career progressing from this point forward? I mean, I, I don't try to think about that too much. I just go out there every game and play my heart out and play hard. And then uh, whatever opportunities come my way, I just try to kind of analyze what's uh, what's available and then make decisions from, from there. But obviously, obviously, I'd like to to move on. All right, Zach Dorval, forward with the Ottawa 67. Zach, uh, thanks for your time and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. So there you have it, an interview with Zach Dorval. We'll roll along here in our first intermission and be back on the other side with more. It's 0-0 after 20 at TD Place Arena between the 67s and the Bulldogs keep it locked on Rogers 22.